giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. We're going to start light and talk about um, a topic that was brought up by FRC 1710 Raven Ravon. Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> if I died again. Uh, well, I see it. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying again. So we want to talk about the new volunteer position that was posted last Thursday. Uh, this is the official scorer position listen for the 2019 game. Official scorers are supposed to observe matches, count game pieces, and input scores. Uh, so maybe this is meaning there's a trend away from automated scoring. I'm not sure. Jim, let's start with you. Do you think FRC is doing away with automated scoring um, due to issues from the previous seasons? And if they choose to do so, is it the right move? Uh, I think that um, automated scoring is great because it gets um, a way to get a real-time score, which is very important to the audience in fast-scoring games like FRC. But I still think you always need the oversight of a physical scorer, even in big big sports, uh, NBA basketball, for example. You have a, a guy with a button keeping track of the score uh, because trusting a computer to something as important as scoring is probably never the final answer. So I actually think having a person who's officially in charge of the score is a great thing. Again, we don't know what capacity that person is going to be in. In something like uh, aerial assist, you needed scorers to keep track of the assists because there was no way to automate that. Perhaps there's a component like that in uh, destination deep space. All right. And so, uh, Ben, what do you think? Yeah, I kind of uh, I agree with Jim here because I was thinking of the same example with aerial assist where there was so much load that was put on the refs on top of checking for all the penalties that they also had to do the game scoring at the same time. So I think having a dedicated person for this position, regardless if we have automated scoring or not in the next game, like uh, say it's, um, you know, like 2015 and it's a bunch of stacks and you have to manually keep track of those it's great to have a person who's not necessarily the ref for that so it all the uh, all the work isn't just put onto the ref position it's split between uh, a couple people so having a dedicated person worrying about the score i think is a great idea thanks ben hey michael what do you think i think it was a backup i think it's great if you have uh, uh something like where you have uh, from steamwork where you have all those pieces the the you need the automatic scoring there's no way someone's going to sit there for a couple minutes and count up all the fuel. It's not going to happen. So where I'm getting from it is it says game pieces. So right there, I think off the bat is you're not going to get a giant yoga ball like we used to have. So I'm thinking maybe a handful of pieces that it's easy for the volunteer position to count. That's what I take away from it. It's a great, uh, why not? Uh, I can't see why you wouldn't have it, but uh, I think it kind of gives away a little bit to what the, uh, the game is going to be. Yeah, I mean, I think in this in terms of like, what I'm hoping for is that it's a supplement to automation. Obviously, you know, automation is really cool in terms of real time scoring because you can get an idea of the field state immediately. You can see what's happening. Like it's a lot more accessible for the audience when you have true real time scoring. True. True. Um, but like you guys have brought up 2014, the example I immediately thought of um, in 2016 was how we all suggested that there be an extra person who was supposed to just watch the defense crossings while the refs watched robot interaction overall. Like I love the idea that there is someone whose job is just to like work on game piece scoring um, because the refs have so much else to do in a normal FRC type of match um, automated scoring. Like I said, it's awesome for, you know, kind of audience interaction, being able to see what's happening, but like, let's all be, brutally honest and real on candidly speaking is like it just doesn't work sometimes so i like the idea of no matter what that there's if if they're not getting rid of automated scoring that there's a human sort of sanity check to whatever is happening on the field right if whatever the the component is it's really nice to have a set of human eyes on it and not just blindly trusting what something counted is um but i think you're right michael there's kind of an idea that it's not going to be like a 2017 where there's too many game pieces to count at once that might if you're a game theory kind of person or sorry, like game hint person, maybe this is something to read into. I don't like to do that because I like using my free time for other things than going down rabbit holes on game hints. But um, if that's your thing, read between all of the lines that you feel like you need to read in between. I want two of them. I want, I want a redundancy. I, I want not just one oh, person sure. counting them up, double it up. 
you know, I, sometimes I can't even do math right. So yeah, well, what, was, what was it in 2013, right? Where like it was supposed to be weight based and then like a week in it was people behind the the scoreboard with like a clicker counter. Right. Why can't I think of the word for what this thing is? Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. I don't know why my brain just won't come up with that. But like, to me, there's, it's trusting the computer to do the thing is like, it's not always great. I like the idea that there's a, there's a backup plan. Yeah. I, I like I said, I want two of them there. Um, because yeah, I think, I think the ref position is asking for someone over 18. So it could be anyone. Yeah, for sure. I know. <laughs> we just was, was, yeah. Okay, maybe you're back, back. You're back. Point. Hey, okay. Um, right. Yeah, I think that we have to remember we just came off a game which had real time scoring. And so as a result, we obviously were reliant on the sensors. I would love to not be super reliant on the sensors and just have the sensors be an enhancement to, to the whole scoring system and kind of a bonus. But having people do these jobs that aren't referees are great because, as Libby said, the referees have more important things to be watching typically. <laughs> yeah, like, like how many times, 2014, you guys keep bringing up the example, how many times was it like we were too busy counting assists and refs missed all of the, you know, we can go back on like the, did you damage another robot, right? Like, oh, I didn't see it happen. I was busy staring at the ball instead of staring at the robots, right? So there are so many different reasons to have. I don't think more eyes is a bad thing. Um, we do have a couple of uh, chat comments or questions. Uh, <laughs> PJ the ref, which I think you should just change your chat username, is P writes, PJ the ref is totally a big fan of anything that doesn't involve me counting things while counting fouls. Um, there's also a comment from CE Scales uh, that's we also need the automated score scoring for drive teams too, as in like looking at the real time scoring. I think is how I interpret that question. Um, I think it's helpful for everybody, right? It's helpful for spectators. It's helpful for coaches. It's helpful for anybody who cares what's happening during the match. But like, I, I think. Like, sorry, go ahead, Karthik. Human scorers can fulfill the role of real-time scoring depending on yeah. the game structure. If it's again, if it, you're talking about the fuel from 2017, probably not. But in most games, the scoring is not so rapid that they can't just be hitting some sort of clicker on a tablet to increment the score. Right. Yeah, some games it's absolutely essential. Like if you looked at uh, 2017, for example, if you didn't have the uh the automated scoring you wouldn't know if you hit 40 kpa you wouldn't know how many you had to go so um you know it's it's very important that that's always there i've been to a couple off seasons where it wasn't there and you're always trying to uh hack something together like have someone stand behind the uh the scorers table to figure it out i know it's a little off topic on that front but um but yeah that's that's definitely an important part of the uh having it for the drive teams there you could always do what uh, my favorite off season, and by that I mean my off season, did this year, which was put a projector inside of the scale so that you could make sure the scoreboard was visible to everyone. Um, it's <laughs> I, I agree that scoreboards that are visible and give you feel. Listen, it was a long story. We couldn't get the projector to reach, so there was a projector inside the tower of the scale pointed towards the wall so that everybody had a scoreboard visible to them. Uh, nice. You know, it's problem solving. It's not a good solution, but it's a solution but it's um, there that's what the important it's part it's not a good solution but it's a solution it's like our little tagline yeah I, I like the digital part because it's that last second the buzzer's coming down and now that it takes out that human error that's Absolutely. that's where i really like the the digital aspect of it if you if you put a human touch to it maybe that person's really excited a long-term veteran and wants to see a good match that's Slam not oh, yeah <laughs> just just keep going yeah. <laughs> I want to tie. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> well, that's what happened in Troy uh, uh, three years ago. It was a tie in the finals. <laughs> oh boy! But uh, but it's not human error or anything. But a right. tie tie in the finals is fun sometimes. It's exciting. <laughs> um, but I think uh, other than I mean, chat sort of following along the same spot looks like uh, we can actually move on to our next discussion. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.